Hi everyone, it's Ashley here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Supernatural book review. So a little bit ago on my channel, I did a Supernatural book review for the Supernatural Mass Paperback book series. And basically those books are a little different because they are like little versions of the show in book form. And so there are other Supernatural books out there that have been made. And so I'm going to do a review on two more books. And these books have been talked about on my channel several times. And they are Family Don't End With Blood and There'll Be Peace When You Are Done, both edited by Lynn Zuberness. So overall, both of these books are basically a collection of essays that are written by both fans and cast of the show. And they kind of just talk about just generally how Supernatural has impacted them and kind of the fandom overall, how it has impacted them as well. And each story is a chapter to itself and they are really, really amazing, honestly. Basically, with the cast perspective, it's more of how the character has impacted them and how the fans have supported them and impacted them. Along with, with the fans, it's more of how the show has impacted them and how they have made friends in the fandom, how they have come to accept themselves, and so on and so forth. They are just really inspiring stories that just kind of show what the Supernatural fandom, the SPN family, is all about. So I'm going to talk about each book individually because they are both a little different in their own ways. So we'll start with the first one. So first is Family Don't End With Blood. This book is absolutely amazing. It kind of talks more about the fandom, like answering the question, what is the supernatural fandom? What is the SPN family? Like, what are we about? Also, we'll say the cover designs for both of these books are gorgeous. I'll show you a little bit of a close-up of it. This book came out in 2017, and it is, as I said, more focused on just generally what is the fandom. Now this book is very, very dear to my heart. You can see it's a little worn um, because I've read it several times because this is the book that got me into the SPN fandom. This is what has led me to create the fan accounts I have, to create this YouTube channel, to do everything that I am doing. And honestly, if it hadn't been for this book, I mean, I don't know where I would be fully because who knows, but like, I know this book helped lead me down this path. so. I am, I owe a lot to this book, but it just really made that big impact on me and encouraging me to want to join the fandom because before I was just watching the show because I enjoyed it and that was kind of it. I didn't really interact with anyone who also enjoyed the show. I didn't have any friends that watched the show. And after reading this, I was like, well, now I want to meet other people who watch it. I want to be a part of this SPN family officially. So I, yeah, I, this is a really, really awesome book. Some of the essays that are done by cast in the show are Rachel Miner, who played McMasters, Gil McKinney, who played Henry Winchester, Matt Cohen, who played young John Winchester, Brianna Buckmaster, who played Donna Hanscom, Kim Rhodes, who played Jody Mills, Osric Chow, who played Kevin, Rob Benedict, who played Chuck, Ruth Connell, who played Rowena, Jim Beaver, who played Bobby Singer, Jerry Padalecki, who played Sam Winchester, and then three smaller excerpts that are done by Jensen Ackles, who played Dean Winchester, Misha Collins, who played Cassie. DL and Mark Shepard who played Crowley. Along with the cast are the stories that are written by the fans and the fan stories are just really impactful in talking about how the show has impacted them and I just as a fan myself was able to just kind of understand and relive my own story and reading them and it just meant a lot to me hearing other people's stories of how the show has been there for them how they found it, finding other people who love it, and just overall how it's changed their lives. Because I know for me, Supernatural has changed my life. I mean, look at me, I'm making videos on YouTube, never thought that would happen. And I have, I owe the show for that because it gave me a reason to start creating content on here. But they are absolutely amazing. And the cast stories are really, really awesome as well. One that always stands out is Jared's story. Jared's chapter made me sob. This book made me cry. Don't get me wrong, I cried a lot reading this, but Jared's chapter just is so raw and it's so well written and I just felt the emotion that went into it and it just touched my heart. Like it really was just amazing and 
I still sob whenever I read that chapter, but it was very impactful. And I think the other chapter that really was impactful to me at least was Rob Benedict's chapter. Rob Benedict, if you didn't know this, several years ago unfortunately had a stroke and his, he's had an amazing recovery since, you know, he is doing very, very well. But he did have a stroke several years ago and he talks about his stroke in this book. And as someone who, many of you might not know this, I'm currently finishing my last semester of my undergrad in college right now and I am majoring in communication disorders in hopes to become a speech language pathologist. And so as a future SLP, reading this chapter was really helpful and just kind of solidifying that this is something I want to do as my profession for my career. Because when I read his chapter, he, like I said, had a stroke. And after the stroke, he was having difficulty with language and communication. He had aphasia and basically he would have difficulty getting his words out. Like he knew what he wanted to say, but he just couldn't say it. And when I read this book, it was the summer right before my sophomore year of college. And in my university, for our major. We don't start our courses for my specific major until my sophomore year. So this was right before I was going to start my coursework and I wasn't sure, you know, a lot about this major. I read his chapter and I started crying and he just talks a lot about how how it was very helpful having someone help him get his communication back and help him to be able to speak again and have that language. And that's what I want to do. Like that's what I want to do. And so it was amazing reading that and it just was so helpful for me and I want to be there for people like Rob you know for people who have had something happen who have issues with communication and language and speech and all of it and so that was really really amazing to read and I'm honestly super happy that Rob has had an amazing recovery that yeah, he has I'm very very happy for him and so thankful too because I want him to be doing well and thriving and he is but this is absolutely an amazing book. I do highly recommend it. It is, if you are a fan of the show, I recommend you read both of these books, honestly. You're kind of getting my views on that one already, but <laughs> I recommend reading them. And the next book is There'll Be Peace When You Are Done. This book came out in 2020, which as many of the Supernatural fans probably recognize is the year that Supernatural ended. And this book is focusing on the legacy of the show. It basically talks about the legacy the show has had the past 15 years and the legacy it has left as it has ended now. It is full of so much love and so much of the stories of how this show has made a huge impact on so many people, especially now that it's ending, and basically saying that the fandom is not over with. There are a ton of cast who contributed to this book. Just a few of them are Lauren Tom, who played Linda Tran, Rick Worthy, who played the Alpha Vamp, Julie McNiven, who played Anna Milton, Tom O'Pinnikett, who played Gadriel, Chad Lindbergh, who played Ash, David Hayden Jones, who played Arthur Ketch, Shoshana Stern, who played Eileen Lay, Richard Spike Jr., who played Gabriel slash the Trickster, Jensen Ackles, who played Dean Winchester, and two excerpts from Jerry Padalecki, who played Sam Winchester, and Misha Collins, who played Castiel. There are also, again, several other cast in here as well. And again, there are amazing fans in here who talk about their story of how the show has made an impact on them. Reading this book was absolutely amazing especially whenever I read it. it was not long before the show was going to be ending. This book is filled with so many amazing stories that just will also make you cry and they just show the immense power that the show has had and how amazing of a show is in the sense that it is there for its fandom and the fandom is there for each other and that people have had their lives literally changed because of just this one little show that could. It just, this is, this book along with this one are just books that just, as a Supernatural fan, help to show just why we love this show. Why we love this cast, like why we love this fandom. Because it has been impactful for so many people whether it's the fans the cast the crew 
whoever, it has made such an awesome impact on them. I do recommend these books, definitely, if you are a fan. So I guess as a review, I give them five out of five stars. But they are just really, really awesome stories. I don't want to like go into any like details of the stories fully because I would love for you all to read them uh, because they are just worth it. They've made a huge impact on me, which you know I didn't expect in reading them originally, but they really did and you know, I owe a lot to these books, but that's because they're just stories from people in the fandom. They're stories from people like you and me, who love this little show, who love the stories that have been told through the show, and who have had some amazing positive change from it. Whether if it's because it's been there for you through tough times, it's helped you turn your life around, it helped you with maybe starting a small business, trying something new, starting a YouTube channel, uh, begin content creation, uh, start writing again, whatever the case may be, it helps some way. You know, one of the awesome things that's talked about in these books too is just how this fandom has helped in like beginning charities and organizations to help other people because that's the type of fandom we are is we want to help others. You know, seeing all of that, seeing it like written in a book form, it just shows what the fandom is actually about. Because we are a family and we do fight with one another every once in a while, but overall we are a family. And in the end, it's more about trying to be there for one another and be there for others, which is amazing. You know, it's awesome to say that in this fandom we have helped start charities we have helped create organizations with the focus on helping other people like that's awesome to be able to say that that's the fandom that i'm a part of i definitely definitely recommend family don't end with blood and there'll be peace when you are done i will have links to both the books in the description below if you would like to try reading one of them i will also leave a link below for lynn's website because there are many other books that lynn has edited and written so you can go check that out too if you would like. And if anyone watches this video who helped write a chapter for this book, who was a part of making this book happen, thank you for helping be a part of it because literally your stories, your work that you put into it, at least impacted me in a huge way. So thank you. And thank you all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe if you didn't know if you wanted to try reading this book or maybe you've never heard of it before if you want to give it a try and kind of know more about it. If you're not already, subscribe. I make a ton of fandom content so if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to follow me on other social media platforms, I will have them linked in the description below. I have a Twitter, an Instagram, and a TikTok. TikTok. I post on all three. I post supernatural TikToks almost daily. The goal is daily, but almost daily. So if you're not already and you want to see me elsewhere, you can go follow any of those. Thank you again so much for watching today's video. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Carry on my wayward people. Bye!